Pursuing its goal of creating the ultimate road-going sports car, McLaren Cars spared no expense and drew upon its vast Formula One racing knowledge to create the spectacular McLaren F1, a super light, high-performance car which employs some of the most cutting-edge technologies and materials in the industry. Built on an incredibly strong and ultralight carbon composite chassis, the F1's potent BMW V12 engine, producing 627 horsepower, is capable of propelling this car to a stunning 231 mile per hour top speed, earning it the distinction of being the fastest production sports car in the world. For improved grip and handling, the F1 employs a complex system of airflow management, electric fans, and a brake activated rear foil, whose combined effects literally suck the car to the ground at high speeds. Carrying a staggering 540,000 pound sticker price, the McLaren F1 is the most expensive production road car in the world. But for drivers that demand ultimate performance and can afford the price, few cars can match either its speed or acceleration. Although founded in 1989, the history of McLaren cars actually began decades earlier during the outstanding racing career of the late Bruce McLaren. Born in New Zealand in 1937, Bruce McLaren began his foray into automotive racing at the youthful age of 14 when his father gave him an aging 24 horsepower 1929 Austin 7 Ulster racer. Using the old Austin 7, the young McLaren began to learn about racing and engineering. In 1959, he became the youngest driver to ever win a Grand Prix, a milestone which was to set the tenor for the remainder of his career. With the formation of Bruce McLaren Motor Racing in 1964, he and his team began their conquest of Formula One and founded a dynasty which stands to this day. McLaren also dreamt of producing a road-going sports car, but sadly, he was killed in a tragic testing accident in 1970. Yet his dream and the team lived on, dominating the sport and becoming the most successful Grand Prix team ever in 1993. McLaren Cars was formed in 1989 with a simple mission statement build the ultimate road-going sports car. Drawing on McLaren's rich Formula One heritage and technology base, the company, under the guidance of technical director Gordon Murray and his team, crafted a dream into reality. In 1994, the company launched their first production road car, the McLaren F1. In keeping with its racing heritage and commemorating 50 years of Ferrari history, the Formula One inspired F50 represents a long line of automotive excellence and achievement. This stallion from the Ferrari stables is a two-seat Formula One race car with very few compromises to make it street legal. Based on the Ferrari 333 SP, its composite carbon fiber body and 513 horsepower engine allows it to reach 60 miles per hour in a blistering 3.7 seconds. The F50's striking personality also affords some innovative design features. With its Berlinetta detachable rooftop, this car can be driven as either a coupe or a spider. It is also the first production car to have the engine and transmission bolted directly to the carbon fiber chassis, making this assembly an integral structural component of the F50. 
with an extremely seductive look and a top speed of 202 miles per hour. The F50 is clearly the prized thoroughbred of the Ferrari lineup. With a tradition of producing some of the world's fastest and most exotic sports cars, it is no surprise that Ferrari has a rich lineage of competitive auto racing. The legacy began in 1919, when Enzo Ferrari made his racing debut at Parma Brichetto. His natural talent and racing achievements allowed him to establish a relationship with Alfa Romeo. Ten years later, Enzo Ferrari founded Scuderia Ferrari, which was dedicated to organizing races for its members. It grew to become an official racing team and ultimately into an engineering racing division for Alfa Romeo. In 1947, Enzo Ferrari, together with a few close colleagues and talented engineers, designed and produced their first car. Since that time, Ferrari has produced over 150 different automobiles for both pleasure and racing. With its dramatic though tastefully restrained Pininfarina styling, the 355 F1 succeeds a long line of V8-powered Ferraris, from the original 308 to the most recent 348. The 355 F1's power plant is a 3.5-liter V8 of exceptionally advanced design. Boasting five valves per cylinder and double overhead cams, it develops a stirring 375 horsepower. Very impressive in a car that weighs less than 3,000 pounds. The V8 is mounted just aft of the cockpit, and this location gives the car extraordinary balance and weight distribution. This translates into superb handling and makes it one of the quickest cars through a slalom test course. High speed stability is aided by a smooth aerodynamic underbody. The car also boasts an electro-hydraulic transmission system, a technology used in Formula One cars. The combination of this gearbox, the ability to change gears using controls on the steering wheel, and the absence of a clutch pedal provides the car with improved performance by cutting in half the time it takes to shift through the gears. Straight line performance matches handling. This flyer from Marinello will top 60 miles per hour in a brisk 4.5 seconds, and top speed is an equally impressive 183 miles per hour. Outstanding ABS brakes help to keep all this performance under control. Although the 355 F1 is the most affordable automobile in the legendary Italian automaker's lineup, it's still very much a Ferrari.
Intended as a new technology and advanced design test bed, the Ford GT90 is the automotive giant's first supercar effort since the winning GT40 Mark III racer of the 1960s. Using an innovative modular engine technology that permits fusing sections of two separate engines together, the GT90's hybrid V12 power plant can generate an enormous 720 horsepower. Heat from the quad turbocharged motor's exhaust can reach a staggering 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. So ceramic insulation tiles, similar to those on the U.S. Space Shuttle, keep the car's body from melting. Infrared sensors on either side of the car alert the driver if another vehicle is pulling alongside. And fiber optic high intensity discharge headlights, along with an aggressive speed deployable rear spoiler, give the GT90 a menacing demeanor. Flashing a sporty, low-profile look, the lines of the GT90 declare that this car was built for speed and proclaims that Ford is once again a force to be reckoned with in the supercar business. Founded in a Detroit wagon factory in 1903, the same year that the Wright brothers flew at Kitty Hawk, the fledgling Ford Motor Company introduced its very first production automobile, the $850 two-cylinder Model A. Over 93 years later, Ford has produced a staggering 250 million vehicles worldwide. And his annual sales, which exceed the gross national product of many industrialized nations. Many features which are taken for granted in today's cars were first introduced by Ford, including the first one-piece V8 engine, hydraulic shock absorbers, safety glass windshields, bumpers, automatic windshield wipers, tilt beam headlights, and self-starting engines. But the real story of Ford lies in the vehicles which captured the imagination of auto enthusiasts, such as the highly successful GT40 race car, the classic 1955 Thunderbird convertible, and the sensational Mustang series. Ford's presence also reaches into automotive racing, where its engines have led drivers to over 174 World Championship Grand Prix wins. With such a rich history, Ford has proven that it's capable of excellence on both the road and on the track. Designed to bring the thrill of the racetrack to the road, the Ford Indigo is an extremely powerful and nimble two-seat roadster which draws heavily upon Indy and Formula One car design and construction, using Ford's latest engineering and aerodynamic techniques. Taken from concept to reality in just six months with the help of England's Raynard racing cars, the Indigo's exciting styling is indicative of an aggressive racer with flashy sports car qualities. Distinctive mirror-mounted fiber-optic based headlights provide improved visibility at night and scissor-style doors swing up and out of the way, allowing the driver to step down into the car. The black leather cockpit is designed for driving comfort but also takes its cue from Formula One cars with gear shifting buttons on the steering wheel, a four-point racing harness and an F1 style instrument display. Powering the Indigo is a rear-mounted specially designed 435 horsepower V12 engine which brings an amazing 75% of the car's total torque on tap at just 1,000 RPM. Sleek and aggressive, the Ford Indigo is destined to be a classic.
Ford developed the striking Mach 3 as a racy roadster with a striking appearance, gave it a powerful name and performance to match. It promises excitement and keeps that promise. The futuristic Mach 3 was inspired by Mustangs of the past, including the original 1964 and a half pony car. Look closely and you'll find hints of the Mustang heritage in the open nose grille, tail lamps, air scoops, and steering wheel. But the rest of the car is all 1990s and beyond. Body panels are of space age carbon fiber and the windshield looks as though it would be at home on a jet fighter. Flexible fuel capability allows the Mach 3 to run on either gasoline or M85, a blend of 85% methanol and 15% unleaded gasoline, or any combination of the two. Sculptured lines add to a bang up to date look. No Mustang would be complete without a potent engine, and the Mach 3 delivers. An onboard computer automatically adjusts engine operation for optimum performance. The 4.6 liter 4 cam V8 with supercharger intercooled by a cold pack manifold, pumps out a solid 450 horsepower. Take it to the drag strip and rock it to 60 miles per hour in less than four and a half seconds. Already, features from this concept pony car have been picked up for the current Mustang range and others may appear in the future. Will we see a Mustang with carbon fiber panels one day? It's more than possible as we near the turn of the century. Initially conceived as a concept car which was to attain an unprecedented 220 miles per hour, the sleek limited edition Jaguar XJ220 was crafted from a dream into one of the world's fastest production road cars. The XJ220's beautiful aerodynamic styling draws inspiration from such legendary Jaguar cars as the C and D types, the rare XJ13 and the famous XKE. While many supercars focus on performance at the expense of comfort, the XJ220 makes no such compromises. Beneath its curvaceous skin is the traditional Jaguar all-leather interior with a high feature specification that includes power windows and air conditioning. Derived from the JV6 twin turbo racing engine, the XJ220's growling 542 brake horsepower V6 can make it leap from standstill to 60 miles per hour in less than four seconds and take it to a top speed of over 210 miles per hour. The XJ220 remains one of the world's greatest supercars with streamlined looks and outstanding acceleration that provide a truly inspiring driving experience. Started in Blackpool, England by partners Sir William Lyons and William Walmsley, today's Jaguar actually began its life as the Swallow Sidecar Company in 1922. Known initially for its stylish motorcycle sidecars, the company first ventured into automobile manufacturing in 1928 with the Austin Swallow Convertible and introduced its first sports car, the SS Jaguar 100, in 1936. Renamed Jaguar Cars Limited in 1945, the company over the years has introduced notable sports cars such as the racing XK120 C type, the innovative D type, the enormously successful XKE E type, and the XJ13. Although circumstances caused Jaguar to take a break from racing after the 1956 season, it returned in the 1980s and has since produced such successful models as the XJR series and the powerful XJ220. And today, 
remains one of Le Mans' winning manufacturers. The Lotus GT1 is based upon the technology of its two-seat convertible progenitor, the Elise, and is the road-going version of Lotus's new GT race car. The GT1 road car is extremely lightweight, weighing an unprecedented 1,050 kilograms, but flaunts the same 350 horsepower V8 engine as the Lotus Esprit. Elegant in both form and function, the GT1 features many of Lotus's latest innovations, including a chassis made of epoxy-bonded aluminum extrusions and aluminum metal matrix brake discs. The GT1's low weight was achieved by using an aluminum chassis instead of traditional steel and making extensive use of simple single-part extrusions to reduce the number of car parts. Combined with these weight savings, the race-bred V8 engine allows the Lotus GT1 road car to rapidly accelerate to a top speed of 195 miles per hour. Founded by the late Colin Chapman in 1948, Lotus is one of the most eminent forces in racing history and automotive innovation. Colin Chapman's philosophy of high performance in a minimum package size with maximum material performance has led Lotus to at least 79 victories in some of international racing's most prestigious competitions, making it one of the most successful Grand Prix racing manufacturers of all time. Unique in that it does most of its own vehicle design and manufacturing in-house, Lotus has introduced such technological firsts as the Chapman strut suspension, the first twin chassis cars, and the first epoxy-bonded extruded aluminum chassis cars. Lotus has historically applied the advances learned from its vibrant racing heritage to produce some of history's most enjoyable road-going sports cars, and continues to push the envelope for both professional drivers and thrill-seekers alike. The Esprit V8 is one of Lotus's highest performance production road-going cars to date and is also one of the quietest. A two-seated evolution of the original Esprit, which was unveiled in Paris in 1975, the new Esprit V8 is driven by Lotus's new compact yet powerful 350 brake horsepower engine, which amazingly occupies the same space as Lotus's earlier four-cylinder engines. Capable of reaching 100 miles per hour in just 10 seconds, the Esprit V8 is not only quick, but also boasts excellent handling characteristics, a trait for which Lotus's cars are well known. 
with an $81,620 price tag. The Esprit V8 is a refreshingly cost-effective entry into the high-performance supercar category and sets new standards for power and fuel economy for cars of its size. Auto enthusiasts often argue that the optimum sports car would combine Italian styling with German running gear. And that's just what Ital Design has achieved with its prototype Nazca C2. Styling is by Gijaro with its carbon fiber Le Mans race car bodywork, minimal ground clearance, wide grippy tires, and semi gullwing doors. The Nazca was developed for performance driving at the highest level. Aerodynamic aids include a deep front chin spoiler and rear spoilers atop the engine cover and under the rear bumper. The drag coefficient is one of the lowest on any automobile, even in the supercar class. The luxurious leather-trimmed interior sets new standards with its wraparound dash, racing bucket seats with full harness belts, and a sleek glass roof panel. A BMW-engineered 5.6-liter V12 power plant is mounted centrally, just behind the seats. It produces a silky smooth 380 horsepower and provides exhilarating performance. Zero to 60 miles per hour in less than four seconds at a top speed of over 190 miles per hour. Ital Design, an independent world-class design studio started in 1968 by award-winning designer Giorgetto Gigiaro and his partner Aldo Montovani, has created over 80 production car designs for the world's best-known manufacturers. Ital Design offers international clients leading talent in car styling, body subassembly research and engineering, prototype building, and more. They will even help design the machinery with which a car will be built. The company's designs have been produced by BMW, Lotus, Jaguar, Alfa Romeo, Maserati, Fiat, Volkswagen, Lamborghini, Hyundai, Seat, Daewoo, and others. Notable among them is the Volkswagen Golf and Scirocco the Lotus Esprit, and the Nazca C2 concept car for BMW. Well known in European design circles, the cars designed by Gijaro have gone on to sell over 20 million units combined.
Created by world-renowned design house Italdesign, the Cala represents the latest in Italian automotive styling and construction, as its curvaceous lines and performance will attest. Italdesign's prototype Cala features a strong carbon fiber body, an experimental aluminum chassis, and a removable Targa roof for open-air driving. Powered by a new Lamborghini 4-liter 400 horsepower V10 engine, the six-speed Cala can reach 60 miles per hour in five seconds and claims a top speed of 181 miles per hour. The luxurious upholstered interior is built to seat two adults and two children. And as with many supercars, the Cala comes with accessories such as custom-fit color-keyed luggage and a high-end stereo system. Hand-built in a small workshop in Leonberg, Germany, the Isdera Commendatore 112i defines the meaning of a rare, high-performance, exotic supercar. The most distinct visual characteristics of the 112i are its long, bullet-like body, dramatic gull-wing doors for passenger entry and engine access, and an external rear-view mirror mounted above the driver's head. A novel velocity-sensitive electronic active chassis improves handling at high speeds by automatically lowering the entire car by a full three inches. And rear downforce and traction are increased during braking at high speeds by an electronic rear spoiler. Powered by a customized six-liter Mercedes V12, this two-seater's impressive 408 horsepower engine can reach 60 miles per hour in less than 4.1 seconds. With a dazzling 212 mile per hour top speed, responsive yet stable controls, and sleek styling, the exotic Commendatore 112i is well worth the six month wait necessary for its construction. Although tiny compared to other supercar companies, Isdera has been designing and manufacturing some of the world's most distinctive exotics since 1982. Founded by Eberhard Schultz after working with Porsche and Mercedes-Benz, this multi-talented automotive engineer set out to build the ultimate sports car. Setting up shop in a former knitting mill near Stuttgart, Germany, Schultz adopted the old German Imperial Eagle as the symbol for his new company, Isdera. Using traditional construction techniques and materials, Isdera has produced rare exotics such as the award-winning Spider O33i, the sleek Imperator 108i, and the bullet-like Commendatory 112i. Believing that all cars should be built around a mid-engine configuration, Schultz's designs have mixed modern function with traditional forms, causing car enthusiasts to stand up and take notice. Schultz's cars are proof that one man's vision and determination can still create world-class performers which can go neck and neck with the latest supercars from larger manufacturers.